All right, here's another movie that I saw recently. Uh, saw X, and um, it's been a while since I've seen the saws. Uh, I got them all in my collection. Um, I remember all the way up to six, I, I used to make it a ritual to go and see it in the movies, and uh, a lot of them grossed me out, like to the point where you're looking away, but you're like, no, no, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a pussy, right? I, I want to watch it, right? And then, and then you cringe and you're like, oh, because you can feel it yourself, right? And uh, this one did not disappoint. Uh, it's off to a slow start. Um, and I guess, you know, spoiler alert, I, you know, because it takes place between one and two, it's a prequel. Um, you know, he's going he's going for a cure for cancer. There's a black guy in the group that suddenly gets cured. He's like, hey, how did you get cured? And he's showing, he's showing him the, uh, the surgery that he had. And he's like, fine, I'll, I'll try it, you know. And then he gets screwed over. And then, um, you know, he's like the old jigsaw version of Liam Neeson, right? I don't know who you are, but I will find you. Uh, only now I think he knows who he, who they are because obviously he was in the factory, you know. And they, they never operated on him. They pretended that they did. They took his money. They ran off. And then he finds them like one by one and starts doing these insane traps on him. And it's like, oh, wow, the 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 climax is like, oh my God, some of the traps that he did. And, um, it kind of, the whole thing is like a jigsaw where, you know, it works like, oh, this was planned. That was planned. You know, it was planned to do this, even though if I had to act like the victim, it, we didn't quite do it that way. It didn't quite plan out that way, but whatever. Basically though, the storyline doesn't matter as much as the traps themselves, right? It's the main reason why anybody watches Saw the Saw series is to see if they can sit there and watch the traps without looking away and being like, oh my God. And I got to admit, yeah, uh, there were times when I did look away and I was like, oh, wow, the traps were insanely awesome. So for a prequel slash newer one, uh, I hope they make a part 11. I, I think as long as the Saw series is around, they'll always make one. They'll always say this is the last one. But we all know, you know, as long as people are coming back for it because Spiral was good. Uh, and Spiral didn't even have Jigsaw in it. Uh, and so as long as you have the traps and the idea and the conception of it, there, there'll always be a new Saw. And uh, you can always disguise your voice as the same guy and put the Jigsaw thing up there. But uh, it was brutal, man. I, I, was, I was not disappointed. I did not leave this disappointed. But I started off saying, what the hell is this? It's off to a slow start. But the smoke clears, all right? Now here's the thing where the smoke clears and you're like, wait a minute. Okay, the black guy in the beginning, and I guess you're supposed to forget about him. He successfully had surgery. He showed the scars, right? And he's cured. Which means that they didn't screw him over and they did the they did the surgery successfully enough. It either means that or he never had the cancer to begin with. Um, and if you by the time you, you finish with all the traps, you almost forget about it. But then you're like, wait a minute, what about the black guy that had the surgery successfully and the cancer removed successfully? They did not screw him over, and they never get into that. As far as I know, I, unless I, I get to see it again, but I was like, they never get into that part. They Maybe they hope that you forget it. But uh, let me know in the comments if you caught on to that and what you thought. Uh, all right. I'll have more reviews in the future. Peace out, my fellow YouTubers.